This hand plane was in a very old toolbox that my grandpa had. I don't think he ever used it. Our best guess is that he bought it at an auction at some point. But I really enjoyed fixing it up. It was in really tough condition. Every metal component was quite rusted. And cleaning it in soapy water with some steel wool. To remove some of the rust, I'm going to bathe each of the pieces in a water vinegar solution. I use 50% white vinegar and 50% water. I will leave the solution for 24 hours before removing the pieces. So I removed each of the pieces and was very careful to remove all of the vinegar. If you don't remove all the vinegar, it can continue to eat away at the metal and cause rust. I also add some oil to prevent flash rust from forming on the newly cleaned metal. Some pieces were so rusty, I had to grind at them with a wire disc on my angle grinder. To clean up the wooden components, I used a card scrape so that I could remove most of the junk, but still leave a little bit of patina to show its age. Sometimes I also would use the edge of a chisel. That would scrape away the finish that was in some of the tougher corners. I did a rough flattening to the sole of the plane with a sheet of sandpaper. When cleaning off the bolts or screws, I would wrap the threads in a paper towel so that I would not damage them in my drill, and then hold a piece of sandpaper up to the head while I ran the drill. The chip breaker was probably the most rusted piece of metal on the entire plane. I sprayed on a coat of primer and followed up with a coat of black gloss. The iron was in terrible condition. I started it out on an 80 grit sanding belt and then went to my 400 grit diamond stone. And then I was able to go through my normal sharpening practice using a 1000 grit diamond stone, an oil stone, and then finally stropping it on a piece of leather. Now, I can finally put it all back together. And now, with the blade fully retracted away from the mouth, I'm doing a final flattening. Once the blade and chip breaker are in there and everything's tightened up, it puts tension on the sole, causing it to go a little bit out of flat. It's certainly not the best hand plane I have ever used. It's a bit short and hard to get a very good finish, but it is a pretty plane in my opinion, and I'm definitely going to keep it around for a long time. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. That really would help me out. Thank you for watching, and God bless.